I'm the youngest of three, and my nephews, the all four of them, um, and um, my brother-in-law. Yeah. So I was living with them, and it was really great. I love my siblings like nothing. Oh my god! Don't tell me this is gonna stain. I'm gonna cry. Um, nothing complain about my siblings or just, you know I love my siblings um, but I really have no more like no more my sister um but I just I have to go to college I want to go to college I don't have to I want to go to college and at first I thought I was gonna go to like a traditional college you know where I um, go to like, I don't know, freaking University of whatever, right? And um, get like a regular degree, like. 
like everyone else. Um, originally, I was going to do psychology. I really love like learning about the mind and stuff like that. I really just, it's like, really fascinating to me. Um, and then I decided to do uh, social work because I'm really like passionate about Oh my god. I'm really passionate about um the foster system and how shitty it is, especially in Lancaster, California, but I don't know about Pennsylvania or anywhere else. Um if you don't know Lancaster's um I'm gonna get to my makeup with this. Um Lancaster's well especially in Los Angeles is really bad. And like California and stuff, it's like really bad. The um foster system but especially in Lancaster, there's so many foster kids, and they're just, they don't have the funds and the care and the materials and the love, I guess, to be cared for it and to have, like, a good life and a good family. A lot of social workers just don't know, like, what the fuck they're doing, and, like, I don't think they deserve um a job um example the gabriel case i don't know his last name i'm really sorry um but it was basically if you don't know what the case is about this little boy who was killed by his mom and um, her boyfriend and um that little boy was tortured he was like i don't know he was he, yeah he was just tortured and he was treated really really badly that poor little kid just deserved so much better he was like eight eight or nine he was like a little boy you know um yeah he just deserved so much better and that's what i call it um if you guys know the facts of that case you know that like the social workers just did not did not do their job. They did not do anything to help that poor little boy. And if the social workers had done their job properly, like they were supposed to, that little boy would have been alive to this day. So, yeah. I really wanted to do that. I'm so passionate about that. Like, I'm not, like, clearly, like, I know a lot of stuff, or I try to know a lot of stuff, or uh, quite a bit of stuff. So I am passionate about it, you know? Like, I'm not just like doing it because it's like easy it i mean it has lots of hours and it does pay a lot but i was also just like very invested and like actually cared about that what are you doing stop it i actually cared about the topic and stuff i'm gonna wash my face with the um Aveeno clear complexion feminine cleanser Acne. I probably shouldn't be using this because I don't really have acne. Um, but I can get spots here and there. So, anyways, um, I just think it is super important to be educated, regardless, and just know the type of um thing that you want to go to in. Like, just. Doesn't make sense. So like, know what you're majoring in, and don't just pick something that you think will be like a good um, decision for now, and then like change your mind later. Editing Brittany here, just trying to explain further what I meant because I didn't explain very well. But what I meant to say was just know your passions and know what you, you know, truly love to do and do that. Um, I think a lot of people go into college thinking like they have to do this, they have to do that because it's their normal or because their parents want them to do that or, you know, whatever the case may be. And um, it's really not like you can really do anything you want. Like, yeah, you can go to college um for like most things but you know some things you don't 
you you don't go to college for and you just learn over time so I think it's important to know like you know what you truly love to do and love to learn about and want to continue to learn about and want to continue to prosper in that passion or in that activity or whatever the case is so yeah you know me being wise or whatever I don't know <laughs> Bye. That's like what I was trying to do and I, and I was interested. Obviously, I'm still interested in psychology, but like when I was thinking of majoring or going to college for um, social working, I wanted to be a social worker specifically for foster kids. Like that's what I was like um, mainly working, working on or like uh, wanting to focus on. And then like with psychology, I wanted to focus on the brain development and I wanted to um, dive into um, criminal development too and like criminal minds and stuff so like how um, criminals minds work and what goes into their minds of like murderers um, robbers just like any freaking um criminal really you know any freaking crime you name it that's what i wanted to do like and like criminal justice i always thought that was so cool because like, i love watching those criminal shows obviously not just because of that but like it was very interesting and very um if you know me you know i love watching those like criminal shows or criminal youtube videos where like you talk about like um criminal cases, so like cases that are like real life and talk about, you know, like murders or um, just like any crime, true crime, anything like that, like missing um, missing people, cases, stuff like that. So really like that is, I mean like these things are still my passion, you know, like I still watch criminal videos and like um, criminal shows like all the time. I still watch um, I still love to learn about the brain. Like, I learn about the brain, like, all the time. And I still love learning about it. And, um, I still am super passionate about the foster system and just social work in general. Because it is so important to, I mean, those are, like, our future, you know? And whether or not, like, those kids are our future. Whether or not they have a proper home or a proper family or a proper, you know, like, a decent life, they are the future of this generation, or the, or the future of this world, and, I mean, they're gonna fucking run our country, so, you know, it's probably best with them I found before, and uncheck, and people should care for them as much as, you know, the child that is born into a loving home, where the, both parents want that child and craved for that child, you know, it is, um, they're as, they're both equally, oh my god, equally as important, and that's why I want to adopt when I'm older, actually, like, adoption is so hard, I, um, actually don't know from first hand, cause, like, I haven't tried to adopt a baby or a child or whatever, but, um, I know from, like, videos I watch on YouTube that it is so hard. It takes, obviously, it's not impossible because it's done. A lot of people adopt all the time, but it's still, like, really hard, um, especially in the U.S. Um, well, I mean, in other places, too, like, it's really hard um, because, you know, needing to like travel the world and if these children are from like shit, and if these children are from like asia or um like somewhere fucking foreign you know like it's gonna take time I like really white because this lotion um has sunscreen but everything i'm using for now on like this eye cream this um face cream and then this spray is trader joe's um, but yeah, like it is just, it's, it does take time regardless, 
if you're adopting in Asia or if you're adopting in America, wherever, Uzbekistan, then it's going to take a lot of motherfucking time to adopt your profile. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to brush my hair right now. But now I'm going to um, study beauty and I'm going to do like hair, nails. I tried doing nails today, guys. <laughs> it's kind of bad, but it's my first set and I did both my hands. Um, they're bad, but then they're like actually kind of good for like my first set, you know? I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to study. Beauty. I'm just gonna want my brush a little bit. I'm gonna um, major in beauty in the beauty school, and um, because of that, there's not a lot of not a lot of, there's not a lot of opportunities here in general um, in Lancaster, California. And um, you know, we all know that. <laughs> um, my whole family knows that. So they, you know, kind of told me they didn't give me like an ultimatum or anything but they just kind of told me like hey do you want to still stay here or do you want to move over there with my mom or you know what the heck are you gonna do so i had to make a choice it was really freaking hard guys i'm not like you know trying to brag or anything but i have a pretty supporting pretty like i'm super grateful about it i have a pretty supporting family and supportive sorry family and they were totally fine with me doing beauty in school and stuff um, and not like doing a, tra a traditional college route but they just wanted me to make a decision um, like basically like, where i'm gonna go who i'm gonna stay with and, like stuff like that you know because i don't i've never worked a day in my life <laughs> um the closest job i've had was taking care of my nephews so i don't really um to like live by myself i've never really worked in my, my social security so i can't oh i can't really um like live on my own you know and i don't really want to live on my own right now because that's it anyways um so yeah i'm gonna live with my mom she lives in oh my god stop it she lives an hour away from where i live right now uh close Kind of an hour, yeah. Stop it! You, Missy, need to stop. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, but the point, oh my god. The reason I was saying all that stuff, I literally went on a tangent. But the reason I was saying all that is because, um, I'm packing right now. Because tomorrow I'm going to go back to her house. I was staying with her, um three months no for like two months since since may and it's no since april oh my god since april so it's been a little a little under two months basically two months um that i've been staying with my mom and you know, like i said that i'm not i'm gonna you know live with her so i had to come back here for a week and in that week, I had to pack up all my stuff, and I did pack up my whole room. I'll show you guys later. But yeah, I did. I packed up my whole room. Um, I have so many stuff in there, yet everything is, like, packed away, but I still have a lot of stuff in there because, you know, I just, you know, I have to take it out, um, and I don't have a bed anymore right now because... Um, not because I took it, but because my girl godfather took it, so he's using my old bed, and I have a new bed that my mom has over there. Um, and yeah, that's what's happening. That's why I'm back in Lancaster. Because, well, my last video was in Lancaster too. It was quite an old video, and um, but if you have been following me on Instagram, then you probably know that I haven't been at this house that 
have my sister's stuff. This is my sister's stuff. I'm in my sister's bathroom right now. So my dog keeps making so much damn noise. She's like bouncing around, acting a fool, acting like the clown. The clowneries. I really look so white. I still can't see some of my glasses, but I look really white in the camera. Anyways, um, I look disgusting. <laughs> I really look so bad. Um, anyways, like I was saying, um, yeah, that's just been happening. I've been here for a week now. Tomorrow is Friday, so my mom's gonna come tomorrow, and I'm gonna have. I have a doctor's appointment for my eyes to check my eyesight to see if I need new glasses because um, well my mom says my old ones weren't working but I think they were fine I think it's just like sometimes um I don't know if this happens to everyone but my eyesight gets like really bad if I don't wear my glasses for a while and if I like I don't know it's like a camera they go in and out of focus sometimes so um and for like a whole month I didn't have my glasses so then I, I hadn't been using them because when I went over there to my mom's house I didn't bring my glasses so then when my sister went to go visit me she brought them for me because I was having like a bit of a trouble trying to see my eyes were hurting very much so I had to get my glasses so she brought them for me so like I'm fine now um but like sometimes yeah like sometimes my eyesight like becomes kind of blurry and it goes like I said it goes in and out of focus um and then like lately my eyes have been watering a lot more than usual like usually my eyes don't really water that much obviously unless I'm crying but I'm not crying so I don't know why how um they've been watering so much but my mom said that it was because I put this in my eye my face cream literally we were in the car on our way to pick up my my stepdad my mom's boyfriend um and like she I mean, my eyes just started watering so bad, like literally so bad. And, like tears were coming out of my eyes, and like my makeup was all messed up. It was so bad, and like it wouldn't stop. Like it, it was that bad. So I was like, um, what the heck is going on? You know. Um, so I put some eye drops. After that, they calmed down. But I was so worried. And I was so confused as as to why my eyes were being like that. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about a certain topic. Okay, so quarantine is happening clearly. I'm not gonna talk about COVID nineteen or anything like that, but I want to talk about like our mental health during this time. So I know a lot of people are going to question themselves, and not, I mean, like sexuality or anything. I'm talking about like question why is this wow. happening to me? Why are these things happening right now? why you know this year like maybe another year like when i didn't when my life was okay or like better or whatever you know whatever the case is don't say what if just say oh well Corey laberry taught me that um he's a youtuber that passed away rest in peace um but what i'm saying is i think we don't get me wrong i did this in the beginning of this whole pandemic this whole situation i definitely like questioned and i said why like why now you know like what the hell did i do you know why did this happen to me i'm a senior and i didn't get to graduate i didn't go to senior prom i didn't go to my grad night i, I didn't get to see my friends anymore you know um literally the day before well basically the last day of school i didn't go the last day of school because i think i was like sick or something or had to do something i don't know but i didn't go the last day of school and that was the last day that we would ever go back to school and i didn't know that 
I thought that they were just going to give us, because that, that's what they said, really. I just thought they were going to give us three or an, an extra week of spring break, because normally we have two, two weeks and we have three. And then three weeks turned into another four or five weeks and then it turned into a month and then it turned into two months and it was just like okay we're never going back to school like it just felt like it was never ending and everyone was crying everyone was sad I mean I was of course too because like you know it's my senior year I didn't get to do the things that I thought I was going to um I didn't get to see the people that I thought I was going to see and I didn't I didn't get the full experience that I was freaking, you know, I was told I was getting. So I was really upset, really sad, really mad, especially that this this thing was happening to me and this year. Um, so I was really, really upset. And I just kept questioning, like, okay, well, this shit is happening now. Because, like, you know, are the class of 2020 like really bad or what like what is going on um and i was just really really down myself and i think especially during this time that like we literally have nothing to i mean like we have stuff to do we can get stuff done and stuff but really like you're just at home and you're not really distracted by like school or like um you know just day-to-day -day things you kind of have to do like things differently and of course i've done a lot of things differently a lot of things have changed since this whole thing happened um and it's just like it's making you act differently and either see people differently like see people the way they truly are or see them um for what you didn't see them before like see them as a better person or the worst person or whatever the case is may be and even see yourself like that um I, i've noticed lately that like i okay i'm not like the most confident you know oh my god i'm like so freaking cute i'm so this this and that you know like i'm not the most confident person in the whole world i can definitely tell you that i'll have my off days you know here and there like on before this whole thing happened but I think once this quarantine happened and um, I was just stuck in, you know, stuck inside all day and, and stuck with my own thoughts, um, I kind of just like started beating myself up more than I normally do. And I'm just like, okay, well, why the hell am I letting myself do this? Like, I'm normally not like this. I'm normally like more, definitely more positive. Like, I feel like I am such a positive person i try to be at least and i might have like an attitude i might get mad and i might argue and like be annoyed and stuff but i'm always positive and i always have love and and i always have like love in my heart you know and i try to be as positive as i can especially to myself because i know like when certain situations happen i will be that person that'll be like no like you will not let this get to you because you're not like you're better than this you're it's not worth it you know like i'm always like that to other people so i try to be like that to myself and try to keep myself like grounded and like keep myself like sane and not like freaking like freak out and i haven't been like oh my god like i am the most ugliest nastiest disgusting most person in the whole wide world i haven't said that yet <laughs> but i also haven't been the nicest to myself i haven't been the nicest to others i feel like because it's just um in here you want to have all the attention and you want to feel like the world isn't crumbling down like it's just like normal and it's not normal this isn't normal it might be normal for right now but it's not our usual normal and it's and it's not going to be like that like i want people to know that it's not this isn't going to be forever this is just temporary. You know, people will get better. This thing will go away. The scientists, doctors, whatever, will find a cure or will find some medicine to help, you know, whatever. And it will not be forever. But I think, especially right now, it is so important to tell ourselves that 
not to listen to our bad thoughts, not to listen to our negative thoughts, and don't let our dark side get to us because even if you don't like your body today, you will, or like today or tomorrow or whatever this week, whatever, you will feel differently uh, you know, a week from now or two weeks from now or three weeks from now. And you just have to wait until then. You can't think about the now. You, I mean, I mean, in a way, yes, think about the now because, you know, it's not going to be like this forever. But also, like, it's not going to be like this forever, you know? Like, you're not going to feel like that forever. It, it will go away. Those negative thoughts will go away eventually. And if you don't make it, so you make it. Literally, that's how I became really confident and really just like branched out of my comfort zone because when I was younger, I was way, way, way shy. I was so, so shy. I was super insecure. I like hated everything about me. Um, and I didn't, I really, truly did not understand why I had friends, why people liked me. I was just so confused. I mean, I kind of totally, kind of still am. I'm just kidding. But, like, I was, you know, like, I was that insecure kid when I was younger. And, like, when I got into high school, I think, starting off a new high school and, like, moving over here, it was such a hard experience. Like, I had never moved schools before. I had never moved cities, not even states, not even freaking countries, cities. But I had never moved out of my comfort zone, you know? Like, I've always lived in the same place. I've always went to the same school with or I've always been to you know the same schools I guess with the same ish people and even like freshman year um when I was still living in the valley I I still kind of went or I still kind of like went to school with the same ish people and then you know like eventually I started meeting new people because not everyone from my old school went to that school but then you know sophomore year when I moved over here it was so, it just, like, it took a toll on me. Like, it took a toll on everyone. Um, but especially me, and especially starting high school and, like, getting to know people and, like, getting used to the school and getting used to the classes and um, the people there and the city. say that you know I've been insecure we have all we've been we've all been insecure we all are going to still be insecure as much as you know you want to say you're confident and stuff you will have those insecure days but you cannot let them get to you you cannot let them define who you are or define the type of person you are going to be sorry moving a lot <laughs> but or define the type of person you're going to be and you know just because I don't like my body one day doesn't mean that I'm gonna feel this way about my body forever I'm not going to do extreme diets I'm not gonna do you know these extreme things these ex extreme measures to try to look a certain way when I'm not meant to be are not meant to look that way because God didn't want me to look that way he made me this way for a reason and anyways yeah I just think that we all need to find a hobby like doing your nails or watching YouTube videos making YouTube videos um making Instagram videos or doing our makeup or whatever like find something that will distract us and help us like become less insecure overall and just help us my dog is crazy and don't let someone define who you are be the person that you want to be in and in a good soul and whatever i don't know if this is making sense <laughs> i'm not making sense but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want more of these types of videos i really like this um layout and hopefully i can edit it well um i have a chit chat get ready with me coming up <laughs> Or my last video hopefully was that um and then I have a one makeup 
our one palette look series coming out i don't know if it's already out i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so, so much for watching i love each and every one of you and don't forget that someone out there loves you because i know i do Mwah. bye guys